All right. So what kind of defects you can identify in an IPA testing? So this is one of the important question. Many times people ask you this question, this kind of question in an interview. Let's target this. All right. So let's do one thing. I have a one important slide for you guys, especially, which is this one. Note down this link, guys. Uh, this is basically sd.live slash forum zi, where I have created some of the manual test cases of APIs. Okay, and these kind of defects you can definitely will find in APIs. Okay, so let's uh, see one by one what are the different things we are verifying and what kind of defects you can identify. Okay, so uh, the first one, uh, let me do one thing. Let me do a little bit. Yeah, I hope it is better now. The first one is related to the status code, which is basically checking out the different different status code on your negative test cases or your positive test cases. Okay, so suppose I have in a particular API, I have applied a boundary value. Now, what happens? I will be I will be checking out the six combination, right? So, which is basically uh, maximum, minimum, and the value, maximum, minimum, and the value, right? Start from the start in the end, six combination. I will be checking the status code for all of them. So that is the first important defect. And sometimes, many times, I have seen uh, the defect in this status code where certain ne negative negative test case will not give you a proper status. All right. So that you have to verify that you were an identify. Uh, definitely, you can check the JSON response, right? So whatever the JSON response that is coming, you can check that. Uh, and uh, what I have seen is that uh, there are a number of type of works can be uh, available whenever we are getting as a response. So it can be uh, there are certain keys missing, certain values in improper data type, right? So data type related works, uh, there's no key available or null data, or you can say uh, particular data which is not properly formatted or not a, even a proper JSON. So that's kind of box that I have seen. So here I have mentioned that you can see for keys, private uh, keys like private full, full names. You can check. You can basically check this by using JSON schemas. Uh, you can check headers, which is important thing, which is most important type of bugs. Sometimes people I have seen whenever you get get a response or whenever you give a uh, request, right? You perform a request. Uh, proper headers handling is important, and I've seen lots of defects in this case. Right, not null checks, of course, definitely null, not null, null, these kind of things you have to verify. You have to verify the time taken, guys. This is important thing. Uh, so uh, lo lots of people are missing this thing. Uh, you can have a particular time, for example, suppose they, there's a particular API, which is taking less than one second, right? So you can add a test case that uh, it should take less, uh, that API should take less than 10 seconds, right? This is like, in even in production, it should take less than 10 so, what happens so sometimes uh, there's a problem and what hap what is uh, so we uh, you, your test case will fail and you will find that bug right so make sure you add also time taken it's up to you guys but the choice is yours okay so uh, of course status related validation response body note nulls different different then headers different different uh, responses uh, your authentication failures right so these kind of thing that you can check it out so I have given some list in here as well as the JSON schema validation that you can do. So these are a couple of test cases for GitHub repo API, right? And I've written some of it and how you can write Postman test cases along with this, as well as the JSON schema validation. And I have explained everything, how you can add JSON schema validation. JSON schema can help you to identify bugs related to keys, structure of your API, responses, data types, your projects related things and proper formatted JSONs. So you can handle most of the test cases with by using the JSON schema. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, you are getting the what kind of different defects that you can identify in APIs, right? This what this was a very quick video, and make sure you check out this video. Uh, check check out this uh, link and download the sheet if you want. All right, and if you are interested in learning more about API testing, you want to learn about JSON schema test cases of this GitHub API. Do check out the go to the playlist section of testing academy. Watch out the full API testing with Postman. Rest assured playlist where I have explained everything from scratch how you can do it properly. These API testing. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is your host Pramod signing off.